I served in the United States Marine Corps and I enlisted in 2005. I decided to join the United States Marine Corps because um, the recruiters made me feel like I belonged. I spent a lot of time um, putting in the effort towards the Navy, but they kind of took, took me in as family. Um, my specialty or career specialty in the United States Marine Corps was administrative personnel. Um, I later transitioned to a financial uh, payroll. I deployed during Operation Enduring Freedom in 2007. Um, I initially uh, requested to deploy as an individual augmentee for United States Marine Corps. Um, about that program, it's where service members individually and independently request to deploy downrange to serve in combat. Um, initially, I was supposed to go to Africa. However, there was an assignment and an opportunity to, for me to go to Fallujah, Iraq. Um, when I arrived in Iraq, I was supposed to be serving as a payroll clerk. However, um, there was a requirement for female Marines to serve as lioness. Um, during that time, I um, left Fallujah and transitioned to Al-Assad, where I did two months of training. Um, later, I went to Haditha Dam, Haditha Dam, where um, I served with five other Marines. Um, the initiative going out to Haditha Dam was more for women and children. Um, we were there to protect that part of the community while the infantry units uh, did their normal searches and um, safety procedures with the Iraqi males. I think for me, serving in wartime impacted me most with my oldest son. Um, he was five when I deployed and I missed about eight months of kindergarten. So that was something I always felt like was a first time experience that was lost. Um, as far as my community, it was harder on my mother. I'm one of nine and my mom went from not watching the news at all to watching it every day. Um, it, it is, wartime is something that makes you more engaged. Um, enlisting in 2005, deploying by 2007, I could almost guarantee every neighbor during that time had a family member, a child, or a friend serving. Um, so it was something that was relatable. I managed being away via satellite phone. I spent a lot of time um, while I was away in combat finding a phone, and I think that's the easiest way to say it. It's very uncommon when you watch different movies and you see infantrymen fighting to talk to their family members, but what you don't see is a lot of the service member females that are actually sitting on the same guard towers with these infantry guys trying to get a signal. And that's what we look forward to. Um, I spent most of my time being a lioness on deployment. Um, and so what that meant is those emails, those forms of communication to provide my mom like some form of normalcy and calling my son to check on his days at school, those, those were the things that mattered. A female INS was a joint effort by the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps for female Marines and soldiers members to work with the families within Iraq, women and children. Early on in war, due to the cultural differences, a lot of the infantry guys wanted to do female searches. And this is not something that's accepted within the Iraqi culture. The reason it was so important for the United States to have service members in these lioness positions was because later on in war, as it progressed, a lot of men would actually dress up as women to clear checkpoints. It, if you dressed up as a female, you were not required to be searched. So lioness on one, top, on one end provided security to the men that are at the front line, but at the same time, Lioness was also our way to create a relationship and rapport with the community because as a lioness, we not only did the normal things to keep us safe, we also did a lot of humanitarian work. 
We went out to the local areas. We provided medical care with the United States Navy. We partnered, partnered up with and providing that medical care to the community included sick calls. So if you had a cold, we would prescribe you medication on hand. If you had dental issues, they were actually dentists out there to provide good hygiene. Um, and it was an opportunity for us to really engage with the locals, to show a different side of the military, um, a side that is in support of living a normal life and most importantly understanding that culture not coming in from we're trying to change your community but we want to bring something that, that you can take with you and say yes you know Americans are good people. Something I've learned about myself is um, I'm not as much as a, of an introvert as I once thought I was. Um, I feel like I'm a stronger individual. Um, I spent most of my time um, being raised in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, my mom and dad are uh, immigrants from St. Lucia, and we were a very close and sheltered family. Um, having that exposure, not just outside of Baltimore, but outside of the United States, it actually puts things in perspective about how you want to live your life. People in other countries, they actually have a lot more in common with Americans than people would think. Um, there are good people out there and they will make effort to break bread with you, bring you lunches, bring you meals, um, invite you in their homes. Um, and we want the same things. My position in Commerce is a budget analyst within the Office of Secretary, Office of Budget. I am a Division Chief of Trade and Information Programs. I started with Department of Commerce in September of 2016. The skill that I acquired while serving the United States Marine Corps is not only discipline, but also communication. Um, discipline is what I believe helped me reach my goals within the federal government, but it's the communication of working with people who serve as my supervisors as well as my subordinates for me to be effective in my role. It is the understanding of how, as a service member, I started off as an entry level, promoted up, so the building blocks are still there, it's just framed or designed a little bit differently. Black History Month is a month to actually acknowledge how far we've come, um, acknowledge what role I've played in serving for my country, and being able to be recognized for my personal accomplishments.